All right, we're going to play one more set. Because uh, I banked one, so I do have I do have the sixth set today. We had a great start to the day. We had a couple real down sets, and then we've sort of stumbled into this configuration and recovered a bit. So feeling pretty good right now about where we're at. And uh, yeah, we're just going to keep it going. Try and keep the vibes uh, positive, maybe just a little. And see how uh, rank 14 treats us. Uh, Mel Metal. That is a blast from the old past. Ain't it? <laughs> Ain't it? Mel Metal. The question is, what is old Mel Metal's moveset these days? Okay. I was going to make him show me Thunderbolt before I buy in to Thunderbolt being a thing. Okay. Okay. I mean, our whole back line is really, really strong into this. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, fire off this ice beam and then switch, I think. Oh no. Hey, it's our second Suicune of the day. We haven't lost a Suicune yet today. GG's. All right. Get on that Neophobus. You know you need, you know you want a level 50 Mel Metal. You know you do. Master League's right around the corner, friend. One of the few Master League Pokemon I can field. All right, Alex. Good luck, friend. What do you got for us? What do you got for us? Fergie and the Talonflame again. Okay. All right. I mean, smart. They shouldn't get another move, right? So now we've got everything we could want here all right let's just uh let's just lean into the nukes we have we have a blast burn here there we go i have to imagine this is going to be a pup And they're going to hope to ride this for a ways. Or the game's going to just shit the bed here. All right. My opponent may have DC'd, to be perfectly honest with you. My opponent might just be like, yeah, this ain't, this ain't happening. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Especially given the way the game's behaving right now. I just assume my opponent has. My opponent's bailed on us. All right. Well... Womp womp. Unfortunately, we still have to chew through their their Pokemon slowly but surely, but it's all right. It's all right. Great lead for us into a really easy to counter swap for us. Good call on the Shadow Ball. Yeah. All worked out. All worked out. Everything is going to plan. Everything is going to plan. Ish. All right, Elvier. Good luck, friend. Uh, Polyrath lead. Mm. I don't love it. For many of the reasons we've talked about. I think, again, what we'll do is we'll pile up damage on it. If they're not good about managing their energy after taking some of this, we should be able to safely swap in Typhlosion. 
and either bait out a problematic Pokemon or just put them in a spot that is really awkward, right? They went Icy Wind, that's fine. I just want to get them into Thunder Punch range. That's kind of where we're kind of where we're trying to get here when we uh and now I can come in and they actually have to respect Thunder Punch. I mean, we'll shield what's probably a Scald. Ugh. Unfortunately, this is the one thing that does kind of just blow us out, right? Like, not only is it not a Pokemon that Typhlosion is particularly good into, but also we don't have a good answer for it on the team, aside from at parity with uh, Gator. Oh, and they're on... Did they just get the boost too? Oh, no. I didn't see the text, but I saw the animation. Uh, I think maybe we're toast here, just as an aside. Alvira, he was a good Bosnian footballer from the 90s. <laughs> that would be an interesting... That would certainly be interesting. We aren't out of this yet. There's a couple things that might still break our way. Um, the biggest one being if they just don't have a Venusaur counter, right? They have the Polyrath. We know that. We do not know the third yet. I do think they got the boost, by the way. Just as an aside, I do think they got it. So we're in a bit of a we're in a bit of a jam here when it comes to just health and energy. Normally, we'd be able to farm this thing out, but I don't think that's going to happen here. Ugh. I was like, there is a chance that like if if all of if their last two Pokemon are both water types um, or like a fairy type that we can one shot. Maybe there's a chance we get enough frenzy plants to just make this work. No, Stunfisk is the opposite of that. So, um, yeah, not going to happen. That's fine. Real tricky team comp for us. Opponent played well. Nothing we can do. Nothing we can do. None of our safe swaps would have worked. So I think we just I think we just chalk that one up to just not being able to overcome the team the team advantage for our opponent. Is what it is. Let's uh let's hope this one's a little easier for us. Uh Breloom. We are gonna switch here. I'm not terribly worried about the Breloom like overall. Stoutland. Sand attack Stoutland. I don't know why a sand attack came through so very late there, but. I think we're looking to try and secure switch advantage for ourselves here. Oh, they actually got ahead of me on shields. All right. I don't love that. I assume they won't shield now. They have to know that I have two of these, right? Yep. Ooh, okay, that worked okay. I like that. And Crobat, ooh la la. I mean, Crobat, I'm glad I have switch advantage. Let's just leave it at that. I'm glad I have switch advantage because obviously if uh, if this bad boy had gotten onto our Venusaur, we would be we would be crying. <laughs> Their team might be Stoutland and uh, oh, we actually got the incinerate damage too. Their team might have Stoutland and stuff on it, but yeah, the Crobat was actually the sauce that could have won them the game. 
That absolutely could have stolen that one. What a team opponent. GG's. Wow. Can't believe we're playing Open Ultra League and we're playing against Crobat, Breloom, Stoutland. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. It's muck time. Ooh, they're on poison jab. Our first poison jab muck of the season. Every every Alolan muck we've seen has been on snarl acid spray for some reason. And I don't know why. Okay. There's the spray. That's fine. Ooh, look who it is. It's our friend Jellicent. Although I just spotted him a, uh, a hex, which isn't great. They spotted me an incinerate. So you know what? Uh, fair trade. As far as I'm concerned, that's a pretty fair trade. I think I'm going to be willing to just give the shields here. I think if there's a Pokemon I want to be using my shields on, it's Typhlosion anyway. So I'm pretty happy to just say, you know. Oh, that was a that was a very greedy incinerate. If this surf kills me, which it does. That feels pretty bad. Okay. Too greedy. I got too greedy with the incinerate right there. Too greedy. I'd like to just see the muck come back, yeah. I do need to put some I need to put some damage on it right I think we've got them more or less in range to die to a frenzy plant but it's gonna be a little bit tight here and we are gonna probably take some damage along the way so I'm a little nervous about if this leaves them alive and they hit us with a charge move it's probably game over Okay. Oh, I take it back. It's game over anyway. All right. Unfortunately, uh, the old RPS came a knocking at the end. We did have some win conditions here, but I think our win condition was not fucking up the, the uh, Typhlosion matchup. If we had simply not gone for that greedy incinerate I think we win that game we we kill the jellicent um we get to preserve the uh oh look at that just to just to just to rub it in we get to preserve the uh matchups yeah I think I think that greedy incinerate killed me I was I was thinking too much about move timing and not enough about just killing the thing and I lost track it's all right. It's all right. It happens. Live and learn, right? Live and learn. Five-turn moves are brutal.